Good morning, my gorgeous lovers, my <laughs> gorgeous friends of the internet. In this episode, we're gonna go we're go back in time, time traveling on Devet channel. So what's gonna happen is six months ago, I did a tutorial that kind of used in Python to automate liking Twitter posts. Okay, but we did it with a browser and it was messy. So today what we're gonna do is use the Twitter API and Tweepy, which is a Python library. And we are gonna analyze search terms like Python, JavaScript, or whatever you want on Twitter. And based on those search terms, on those tweets, we are gonna like them or we can retweet them if we want. So let's take a look. This is gonna be fun and it's gonna be extremely simple. So I highly recommend you watching this. Hi, let's build out this bot. Feast your eyes on my Pringles. That's the name of this cat. It was recently renamed to Boris. I'm not sure why, but okay. So the first thing we need to do is to create this bot rather than doing some weird gooey booey. Uh, what we're gonna do is actually sign up to a Twitter API developer thing. So this is mine here. Here are my API keys, but <laughs> I'm gonna regenerate these. So I'm gonna show you how you can get these and get started. So what you need to do is you need to go to Google and search for Twitter developer like this. Let me pull this up, developertwitter.com. So what I'm gonna do is copy this actually and go to incognito. And no, we're not gonna visit weird websites. We're just gonna go to this one again, okay? And what you're gonna do is hit apply, and then you're gonna hit apply for a developer account. All right, it's gonna ask you to log in to a Twitter. Uh, let me do an old Twitter account that I have, and I'm gonna take you through this process, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go to hobbyist here, that's fine. I'm gonna hit making a bot, I'm gonna hit next. All right, it's gonna ask you which country you live in. So let's do, what are we doing today? We go in the Japan, everybody. Ah, there we go. All right, and uh, let's see, do we need something else? I don't even know anymore. Uh, next, I cannot hit next. What would you like us to call you? Ed, all right, we can go next. Now here in your words, you need to actually complete out a little description on why do you wanna use this API. Uh, so, what you can do, what I did was I just said, hello, I want to access uh, the Twitter data and use the API for educational purposes, blah, 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 blah. Okay, just make sure you get 200 keywords in here and you are good. So let me just copy paste this like two more times. So that's fine. Okay, so next up down here, are you planning to analyze the Twitter data? <laughs> analyze. Uh, so I'm gonna hit, no, I don't care about that. Now what I do care about is I'm gonna use tweet, retweet, like, follow. So this is fine. So again, you can use the kind, kind of the same thing here that I'm using it for educational purposes or to learn or to blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there you go. Okay, next up, aggregate data. No, I don't care about taking the data and using it on my website and no, this either. All right, so once you're done, you're gonna hit next. All right, and then you're gonna hit looks good. All right, and then you're gonna agree to all of this. You're gonna hit next and then you're gonna have to confirm your account, which is awesome. And finally, you're gonna arrive here after you confirm. So now what you can do is actually go to uh, get started, I believe. There we go. And you can hit create app. So I already made one, but what you can do is create a new app. All you have to do is give it a name, give it again a description here educational purposes and you need a website here and now you can use your Netlify website or just something random and that's gonna be fine because we're actually not gonna use a website or anything we're all gonna all we're gonna do is just use scripting in Python okay so just add something in here too. Uh, tell us a bit about the app it's very bad not good at all D delete this why you do this okay create and you are done so after you create that, it's gonna appear right here and your get started. Create an app, here we go, this is the one. You're gonna expand this with details right here. Uh, this is my Dimitri Marco website that the guy on Fiverr made me. It's still up, surprisingly. And what we wanna do is go to keys and tokens. And this is what we're gonna actually be using, okay? So next up, what we wanna do is just open up a new project. So I'm gonna hit file, 
uh, open folder. I'm gonna call this Twitter API tutorial like this. I'm gonna hit select OK. I'm gonna create a file. This is gonna be called twitter.py like that, okay? And now, obviously you wanna have Python installed. So if you don't have it, make sure you install it. And what we wanna do is actually install one package. And that package is called, what is it called? <laughs> Tweepy, there we go. So Tweepy, that's what we're gonna be using. So what we wanna do is say pip install uh, Tweepy like this, okay? If you have any issues or errors, you can say pip3 install Tweepy and that, that should be fine. Windows, why you do this? Okay, be quiet. Okay, so what we want to do here is import that package. So we're gonna say import Tweepy like this. Okay, and another one we're gonna be using is called time. And I'm gonna kind of tell you why we do this. Um, okay, so the first step is to actually add those keys and to basically be able to access your Twitter data. So what we're gonna be doing is creating a variable called auth, like this, off. How do, how do Americans say it? Off, all right. And then what we're gonna do is call this Tweepy thing, uh, this package, and then we're gonna add a dot, and we're gonna say off handler, like that, all right? It's automatically gonna complete for us. And here, we're gonna have basically two parameters. I'm gonna add two strings. Oh, too much JavaScript. Um, and this is where we're gonna add, uh, let me show you what we're gonna add. We're gonna add these things, the consumer API keys. I have it open here as well, in Inception. Uh, so what we're gonna do is copy these. I'm gonna copy the first one, uh, the API key, and we are gonna add it back here. All right, so the first one here, okay? And the second one is gonna be the password. So let me copy that as well, API secret key, and paste it in here. Okay, so after we do this, as you can see, we also have. Yes? I came to bring you things. <laughs> Thanks, Bozen. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were filming. <laughs> okay, so now that we have this, uh, we are also going to add the second one, which is access token and access token secret. Okay, and for this one, we need to call something else. We need to say off dot set access token. Okay, same thing, just two parameters, two lonely parameters lost in the wind. And we're just gonna copy paste these over. So copy paste again. I highly recommend you to use your own because I'm gonna regenerate it after this video. So you cannot access my Twitter data, obviously. Uh, so let's copy the other one too. Now here's a little tricky tricky if you're gonna get an error here it's because you might leave a space here so as you can see here make sure you don't leave spaces if you leave space it's gonna error out and it's not gonna work so make sure you go to these parameters just go through all of these oh okay so no space no space here because i accidentally did a space and it wasn't working and i didn't know why and life turned miserable okay very fun we're having fun here everybody okay so now that we have all of these things, we are ready to party. Uh, so what we need to do is create another variable called API, okay? And here we can say tweepy.api like this. And here we're just gonna pass in that off. Now in the previous video that we did like six months ago, the issue that we had was that we're making too many requests and we don't wanna be banned from Twitter, right? Uh, so we used a time.sleep. Uh, I still added it in here, but we're gonna use it kind of differently. Uh, but if you're working directly with the API, the advantage is that Twitter already knows when you're gonna hit that limit of, hey, I like too many tweets at the same time, or I pull too many users or things like that. So the advantage here is that we pass in this off, all right, so to authenticate ourselves, that's the first parameter, but we can actually pass in another one called wait on rate limit. And what this allows us to do again is it's gonna pause or it's gonna take a break as soon as you reach a limit of likes or a limit of getting followers. And we're gonna see this in action. So what we're gonna do is set this one to true and make sure it's a big T because we are not in the JavaScript world anymore. Okay. 
and we can also get kind of a console log or a print a notification so we can say wait on rate limit notify and this is true as well okay so that's it that's all we need to do. We have all the things that we need. We can control everything that we want. This is why I like Python. <laughs> the libraries are just so awesome and it's so simply simple to use. Okay, so if I wanna get myself, what I can just do is create a user and set this equal to api.me. All right, so API right there and just get myself. Perfect, so let's print out myself, print user. Let's see, does that work? Whoa, what did I do? Twitter.py. All right, Python, Twitter.py. That's what we want to do. There we go. Oh, and there we go. Take a look. We get back all the information about ourselves. Ooh, so much. So much stuff here. So we can do something like uh, my recent tweets. I can get the followers. I can get maybe I don't, this is so much retweet counts. As you can see, so many things. Look, screen name, I can get that if I want. User dot screen name. I believe it was like this. Run this. There we go, developed by a.com. Buy the new course. <laughs> I'm gonna update it this month, by the way. Um, so there we go. We can also mess around and do other things. So let me show you a very cool example here. Uh, let's try to get all my followers. So what, what we can do is we can say for follower in, and I'm gonna actually introduce you to a new concept here. What we can do is say tweepy dot cursor like this. Now, what is this cursor? Well, on Twitter, um, what you can have is the, is like a lot of pagination, right? You might have a lot of pages of users or followers, and this kind of takes care of that. It's gonna gather all that list of users or items or pages. It's gonna go through them all, so you can basically iterate through it. Okay, so if you ever wanna get all the tweets, you ever wanna get all the messages or all your followers, you're gonna be using this cursor to basically kind of iterate through all of those. Uh, so we're gonna be using twe tweepy.cursor like this, and in here, what we're gonna pass in is the api.followers, like this, okay? So this is gonna pretty much iterate through everything. And then what we can do is add a dot items here. So we get back all the items, okay? And then what we can do is say print, let's do follower.name, all right? We get back all the names of our followers. Let's take a look and you're gonna actually see this in action that we're gonna probably hit that rate limit and it's gonna automatically pause for us. So let's run this, hopefully it works. And there we go, look, those are all the people that follow me. And sooner or later, you're gonna see that the API is gonna hit the limit and take a look, rate limit reached, and it's gonna go to sleep for 890 seconds. And once that is done, it's gonna keep pulling in the additional followers, okay? But for now, I'm just gonna close this up and close this up. Okay, so this is kind of how we can get all the users. Uh, what we can also do is maybe I can follow someone uh, if they follow me. So I can say if follower.name, uh, oops, no parentheses, if follower.name is like equals, I don't know, Traversy Media or something, then I can do a follower dot follow back follow like this okay so i can i can mess around a lot of this um kind of however you want but what we what we want to do is gather basically search terms and based on that search terms we can either retweet or we can like them if we want so let's take a look on how we can do that what i'm gonna do is add a search term so here i'm gonna say something like python or JavaScript, like this, okay? Uh, how many tweets I wanna pull back? So I can say number of tweets, like this, and I can set this equal to something like 500, okay? And I can basically loop over it again for tweet in tweepy.cursor, like this, and I can do an api.search this time, okay? So I can 
add a search and the second parameter here is going to be our actual search. So JavaScript or whatever you want to add. Okay. And here I can just add dot items again and basically specify how many items I want to pull out of this. And we created a variable so we can just pass it in here. Perfect. Okay. Uh, up here, we just did items, uh, actually deleted it. Uh, so basically it's gonna go through all of them, but here we're kind of limiting it to 500. Okay, so here what we can do is add a, a like that, the double dot, as I like to say, don't judge me. Uh, here what we can do is create a try and we can try to basically favorite all the tweets. Uh, so let's do print tweet liked like that. And here what I can say is tweet dot favorite like that. All right, make sure you don't do favorite or like that. It's favorite like that. I don't know why. Please let me know. It's been bothering me for three days. Um, okay, but even though we have this rate limiter, I still wanna I don't know, I like to add a bit of time to it uh, so it's not spamming like brrr, it's gonna 30, like 30 tw tweets at the same time and then it's gonna time out. So I like to kind of add a, a stop here. So I can say time dot sleep and do it like every 10 seconds. Okay, normally probably I would do a minute uh, because what's the rate? I think you can like a thousand tweets per day. So if you want to do that calculation, feel free. <laughs> okay, so after we do that, we, we might get an error. So I'm going to add an accept here. If I can spell this correctly, A E X C E F like that. I can call tweepy dot tweep error. All right, it's going to catch all the errors. I'm going to rename it as E and I'm just going to print out E dot reason. Okay, so in case we have any errors, we know what it is. And as soon as it reaches completion, that sounds wrong. Uh, so I'm gonna say stop iteration. Um, I'm gonna just break and we're gonna stop the code. Okay, and that's kind of the whole thing. So let's give it a shot. I'm gonna run this and let's see if it appears that we like tweets. Okay, so one, let's do two. All right, we're gonna have to wait here. Come on, one more for daddy. Okay, so we have to. I'm gonna just stop this for now. Uh, we can go on my Twitter and we're gonna see that if we go to profile, like, and there we go, we liked two tweets. Actually, I liked more here, but whatever. Uh, so as you can see, it has the keyword Python in it and all of them should have Python somewhere. Here we go, Python. And this one should have Python somewhere too. Okay, so it works. Actually, we did JavaScript on the last two. Okay, so there we go. And you know, there are people that do the retweet thing. So if you talk about JavaScript or something, they automatically retweet uh, that tweet. Uh, that's the same thing you can do here. You can add a keyword like JavaScript. So if you ever mention JavaScript, rather than doing tweet.favorite, you can do retweet. Retweet. I believe this is the one. Uh, if you're unsure, you can always go on Tweepy here, all right? So Tweepy, let's search retweet. Okay, I believe this is the way it was. All right, just go in here, search retweet. Click, 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 click. Yep, there we go. Retweet, yeah, you just say retweet, okay? So we can do that tweet.retweet, uh, let it sit a bit and you are done. All right, so this was quite easy. There's still a ton you can do with uh, this Tweepy library and the Twitter API. Uh, you can check it out here. I, I just looked over here and saw a lot of cool things that you can do from liking, tweeting, making maybe scheduling your tweets. So you can do maybe you can schedule like five tweets per day so you don't have to really do anything. It's going to take care of it for you. 
Um, there's a lot of cool things. If you want to see one of those where you can schedule your tweets maybe, uh, let me know and we can create that one. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Man, playing around with Python is incredibly fun. It's actually very relaxing for me. It's awesome. I also want to make sure that you go over to Twitter developers, the API section there, and make sure you're not breaking any rules because they do have some rules uh, that you can do with the API. So just make sure to kind of read over it, make sure you're, you're not doing anything crazy to get yourself banned or something, okay? So that's it. I told you before that in the summer, I'm gonna also create a tech channel. So besides this, this is gonna be kind of software-based and tutorials. And the other one is gonna be tech-based, physical, laptops, phones, cameras, how to film, how to do this, how to... Okay, you get the point. But I feel extremely uncreative with a channel name. So let me know what would fit DevEd with a tech channel. The best name will get a pin will get the common pen. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we're not gonna be playing with the snake anymore. That sounds weird. Why you do this?